Hi, welcome to Landmark. This is a basic user interface tutorial. My name is Eleven. I am going to be running down some of the simple user interface things that you're going to need to know to get started in Landmark. First off, we are at the basic entry screen. Uh, some of the key elements you're going to want to pay attention to in the lower right hand corner. We've got our health and energy bars. Obviously, those are things that you're probably familiar with in other games, but uh, obviously health is going to keep you alive. Energy keeps you doing stuff. Quite simple. Down in the center, you're going to see uh, at the bottom here in my action bar, various things I've equipped or are equipable, such as in this case, we have a harvester item, we have weapons, we have items we use for exploring, we have our uh, equipped uh, grappling hook, which helps us travel around. Uh, it's actually pretty nifty because it gives you like extra speed and everything when you're traveling. It's way faster than running. It's kind of awesome too. Plus you can get onto ceilings and stuff. Uh, so those are the basic tools you're going to be using primarily while at adventuring or things down on that bar. Once you find an item, you can just drop it down there. And then when you press that button, you'll be able to equip it in your inventory, which you can access by pressing the I key. The I key uh, on your keyboard will pull up this inventory tab, which will show your gear. As you can see, I have armor, boots, and other accessories equipped already, and I can choose a title. It also notifies you of basic build site information, and then you see your inventory on the left. Your basic inventory, which is on your person, and your collections, which is essentially materials and supplies that don't really house any physical space within your actual inventory carrying uh, spot. A bag, pouch, pocket, infinite dimensional portal, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, if you notice in mine, I have a lot of empty space. Uh, I have maxed out my inventory capability, which you can purchase using uh, lumens on the Lumen station, which will allow you to expand that to a maximum cap uh, of 100 slots right now, currently. And that is your inventory. You can close that again with the I key. Pretty common, you know, actual hotkey. I for inventory, who to thunk it. Uh, in the top right, you're going to see a compass here, which is got the north indicator marked and it rotates as you turn, which is pretty cool to keep you acclimated to where you are on any particular landscape. So if you find a feature you're, you know, kind of looking to get back to, you can keep track of the general directions and head back there. It also helps you navigate underground once you get into the caverns. Uh, next to that, further in the corner, you see a little option here. It's a wrench and hammer. It's toggle build mode. We'll get into that a little bit later, but right now that's just the button to get into build mode. I'm not on a claim, so I'm not going to build anything just yet. In the upper left hand side, we've got pretty much all of our useful menu options. The most common ones are listed here on this little upper hot bar, as well as the balance of your lumens, which also doubles as opening the lumen station. This little blue crystal toggles a travel menu. You click on that, and then this will ask you where you want to go. Each one of these items is going to bring you to a particular location. If you want to go to any of your sites, obviously my sites is the place to go. You have other options to see other places or people. And at the bottom, if you want to go into an adventure, you can click that and you'll go into whatever your landscape's current set of chaos caverns are going to be. Down there, you can fight mobs, enemies, NPCs, and find treasure chests and harvest things as well, which will grant you lumens, recipes, and all that cool stuff. Close that out with the X, or you can click on the travel menu button, either which way. Up here, you're going to see gallery, you're going to see marketplace. Those are things if you want to do actual purchasing or see other people's claims. You have your inventory, notifications, and your friends list. Friends list is a hotkey K, as indicated at the top. It's nice to open because there is an option to teleport via the teleport crystal icon right next to any one of your friends or guildmates names. If you want to teleport to them, you just click it and it'll bring you to them. You could also choose to show online and offline people through the normal options. To add somebody, just click on the little add friend icon up here in the corner. And close it out by pressing the hotkey again, just like normal interface features. And if you need any other menu options, this little shield here, which is a landmark crest, you can pull up a normal menu option, which will give you pretty much all the menus you're going to need, including their corresponding hotkeys. Keep in mind F11 is your option menu here because that'll pull up anything you want to do to adjust any video settings, audio settings, or anything else. Stay tuned for a future video, which will go into more detail about any other particular user interface features and more detail into the building tools.